Here we have another review on the Karcher Puzzy 100. Uh, we've had this over 10 years now. It's been a brilliant machine. Uh, the only pitfalls we've had over that time are just normal wear and tear. As you can tell, it's got a few bumps, a few dents and digs into the uh, plastic around the edges. So it's been used. It's definitely been used. We've used it for a lot of different things over the years. Um, so the only thing to watch out is the plastic on the end of the hose um, that sucks up the water. That plastic becomes brittle and because you're leaning on it all the time when you're cleaning, it eventually breaks and snaps off. However, when you can actually get these spares pretty cheap and they're regularly available online. So it's not end of the world kind of stuff. Here we have um, the hose, funny enough, slipping on into the end of the hoover. Um, it just clips on and the white bit of plastic you've just seen, there is a rubber o-ring inside and that often becomes brittle and breaks as well because you're always clipping it in and off, on and off. And uh, that eventually also goes and leaks everywhere, leaks water. So just bear that in mind. Uh, when that does go, you will obviously know just replace it with a little o-ring. It's easy to do, just takes about five minutes. Just takes about five minutes. No bother. Um, the next step, we're just filling up the machine with water, getting it prepared. Um, one top tip to remember is to put fabric conditioner or some sort of cleaning product in the water and that will help get the stains away and off the carpet or rug, whatever you're doing. Um, we often use this machine uh, for doing carpets around the house, rugs, mats, and we also use it in the cars, doing the inside of the interiors. So, you know, seats, rugs, mats, and in the boot as well. Uh, we're just doing a product test in here to show you the difference uh, between it, you know, obviously being cleaned and not cleaned. Um, here we're just sucking it up. Um, on the handle there's a trigger and that will, if you press that down, it will release the water, spray it out on the carpet. Also in the water chamber that you fill up, uh, make sure it doesn't go past the max level, um, indicated on the right hand side. And also the water can't be above 50 degrees. Otherwise, this will damage the pump. So something to bear in mind. And try not to get too carried away when you're cleaning away. Um, just bear in mind that you have to keep refilling the water. Uh, make sure it doesn't run out completely. Otherwise, this will probably burn out the pump. So always make sure you've got a bucket of water to hand so you can just keep filling it up as you go. As you can see, the dirt that's coming up, it's almost black, it's pretty dirty, ugh. Um, <laughs> we obviously, obviously haven't cleaned this for a while. You don't have to press too hard, uh, just let the hoover do the, do the magic and it will soon come clean, as you can tell. It's making quite a big difference already and we're only a couple minutes in. So a rug like this will normally take about 10-15 minutes so you want to spray the water on and you want to go in afterwards sucking it up as well to make it dry as and that will just speed up the drying time so yeah you can definitely tell where the clean line is and the old dirty half of the carpet is very obvious I'd really definitely recommend this product to anyone whether you're a tradesperson or just someone who wants to clean the carpets. Um, these carchers go for around £550. Um, you can pick them up in screw fix. Uh, the one we have is obviously quite old, but the new ones, there's no difference at all. The only difference is it's grey. So it's still quite a good system, even now. Um, you can hand pick them up sec second hand on eBay or Marketplace or anything like that. And you'll probably pay about 150, 200 pounds on one that's relatively good condition. So it's not too expensive.